we all know about the flip box in Elementor uh, that you can just put over here. And when you flip over it, it turns over. And it's quite they're quite good to use. I'm not a massive fan of using flip boxes because I feel like they can be overwhelming on desktops, uh, especially on mobiles if you have too many. But what if you want to do a completely unique design? Now, one thing about these is that you can mess around with the icon, remove the icon, header, text, description. You can even put a short code in here. So you can create a template and drop it in and away you go. However, what if you want to be really, really unique? Like you want to put an accordion in here, but you don't want to go away and start building it as a template, then drop the short code in because you're worried about how messy it is. What if you've got like 20 of these on here? Are you going to have loads of short codes everywhere? Let me show you how you could build this completely on the fly without using any other plugin. There will be some CSS code, but it is a really simple bit of code. Let me tell you that now. I'm just going to create a container here and we're going to make this be a hundred VH like that. And I'm going to give this entire container a background color. The only reason I'm doing that is so that it becomes a little bit clear about what we're building so you can see everything on the screen. So inside of here, if we go to Navigator, we have a container. Into that container, I'm going to drop in another container. So imagine this container has got like text and other stuff going on. And then you're going to have a flip box somewhere. So this particular container that we have now got, I am actually going to make this be a width of, uh, let's go with a 300 there, and I'm going to make the height of this be, um, we'll go with a 400 like that. Okay, 300 by 400. You may be wondering, why have you gone with a 400 height? Because I'm going to ensure that the cards that sit inside of here are controlled. So everything is 3 by 400. If you do not control it, it ain't going to work and it's going to start to look funny. Now I'm going to duplicate that container so we have two of them. But I'm actually going to put the second one into the, sorry, the third one into the second one. So I'm going to pick this container up. And I'm now going to drop it like so into the first container. Now, you may want to go into your container and just zero, zero everything out and into the third one as well. Just zero, zero everything out like that. In fact, I'm just going to do something to the parent container. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to go to the layout and I'm just going to centralize it like that. So it's easy to see on screen and you can see them some spacing. Now, this main container here. I'm going to change the name of it and I'm going to call it a uh, flip container. Did I call it flip? Yeah, I'm going to call it flip container and I'm going to give this a class name as well. And I'm going to call it a uh, flip container. Did I spell that right? I spelled that wrong. There we go. I'm going to call that flip container as well because we're going to create our elements inside of uh, additional containers. And you are going to feel like, wow, that's a lot of containers. But trust me, it does work for you if you want to have full on bespoke, unique flip cards being built here without having to go and do a template. So flip container, and I've also given the class name flip container as well. The, sec the third container that sits inside, I'm going to call that one flipper. And again, go over to the advanced tab and I'm going to give that a class name of flipper as well. Now at the minute, nothing is happening. Inside of here, is where we are going to start to build our elements. Now, both of these, just make sure, double check, should be 300 by 400. And the layout for that should be 300 by 400 as well. Into the third container is where I'm now going to drop in another container. Again, you will be probably thinking this is overload, right? This is overload, but trust me, it will work. This container, I'm going to call front like that. And into here, well, I could put whatever I want, to be absolutely honest. I could drop in a uh, heading. I could drop in an icon as well. Now, I'm not going to do much else to it. I've just changed the colors over there. I am going to go to my advanced tab uh, for the front container. And I'm just going to say, give me about 20. Uh, you could, you could, I mean, you could go a bit bigger. We'll go with 30 there. You must ensure that this front container is the same consistent size as the other two containers above, the flip container and the flipper. So 300 in width and 400 in height. You can do VH if you want, but that's the size we're going to go for. Keep it really consistent. Now, the only other thing I'm going to do is I don't like the layout of this because it's all the way at the top. So while I'm still in the front container, I'm going to go and say, make it be in the center like that. There we go. Now, the point I do want to make before I go on to the back, this is a container. 
So I could drop in a button, an accordion. I mean, this is the front, by the way. So there's no point putting a button on the front because the minute you go to it, it's going to flip. So don't do that. But on the back, you could do whatever you want. Now, the only thing we need to do on the front before we go to the back is go back to the advanced tab and just make sure in the class name, I've given it the name front. So we have flip container, we have flipper and we have front. So your naming convention should be the naming that you have over here as well. The next thing I'm gonna do is uh, duplicate the back or the front to create the back. So I'm gonna go over here now to the duplicate and I'm gonna call that one back. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that icon there and I'm going to pop in some text. And I almost forgot, make sure the class name on the back is changed to be back as well. And the one thing I did forget was that on the flipper container, uh, instead of it being three by 400, set it to be full width because the flip container that contains everything is already set to be three, 400. So the flipper, I want it to be the full width. Trust me, it won't work properly without that. So remember everything in here, the front and back, they are three by 400. The flipper is a full width 400 and the flip container is a 300 by 400 as well. Now what I've done on my page over here is I've gone and added in two containers either side. Uh, I've also made my parent parent container be a boxed width of 1000. And these containers either side are 350 and 350, just because to show you that you could have had whatever you want sat inside of here. So you can be quite creative. And inside of the flip container into the advanced tab, I have gone and dropped in this little bit of code over here. Um, you can play around with this code if you want in terms of how does it transform in terms of degrees. I will let you play around with those values, but this is in the YouTube video description. So you don't have to go away and look too far, but let me just close that down. Let me now just show you what does this all look like when we're viewing it on the page. So imagine you got a container, you got images, you might have other text and buttons and icons. Look, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter where I hover, over here, nothing is changing. I can even go all the way up to here, nothing is gonna change. But I move here, and now we have our completely unique flip box. And remember, because this is a container, you can put whatever you want into there. Rather than you now building a separate template short code somewhere, template, sorry, and then you drop the short code in, and then you gotta modify it, and you gotta go back to the template, and then back again. And sometimes you can't even view it. You've got to go into preview and live. Whereas here, I can see it flipping as I'm on the screen. But what if you want this to flip the other way? So rather than it being horizontal, you want it to be vertical. Over here in the code, it says rotate Y. I'm going to change that to be a rotate X. It now flips, but the, it's now the wrong way around. So I'm going to go to the back down here. And where it says transform, rotate Y, leave the code, leave the 180 as it is and take away the Y and put in an X. So now when I rotate, it's basically rotating the right way around. And if I just pop it back over to be Y like that, and over here at the top, we're back to where we were. That code is in the video description. I hope you go away and have a bit of fun. It's pretty simple and easy to do. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.